And at this stop, we'll talk about how Hoover Dam was built, how it works. Now, as we heard in the movie, Hoover Dam is here for the water. That is the main purpose for the dam, to control the flow of the Colorado River so that the people downstream will have a consistent and dependable supply of water. But before they could actually begin construction of our 6.6 .6 million ton dam here in the Black Canyon, they had to move the river out of the way. This was done with the four diversion tunnels, two on the Nevada side, two on the Arizona side. They measure about 4,000 feet in length, 50 feet in diameter once they were lined with the concrete. And as you look around you right now, you will see that 76-year-old concrete they lined the tunnels with because we're in one. In fact, we are right here in the Nevada Inner Diversion Tunnel. And that tunnel that we walked down to get here to this tunnel is called the construction adit. And this was important because it allowed the uh, drillers to come into the center part of where the tunnels would be and to drill from the middle out to the entrance and out to the exit so that each tunnel could be drilled from four different directions. And with that uh, approach, they were able to finish one of the tunnels and have it lined by November of 1932. And that is when they took the rock and the debris they excavated from these tunnels and built our two coffer dams. The upper one stands about 100 feet in height that directed the river into the tunnels and the lower one stood about 65 feet in height, preventing the water that was coming from these tunnels from going back into the work area. They then were able to remove all the riverbed down to bedrock, 135 feet down, and place that first bucket of concrete on June 6, 1933. When they placed concrete on the dam, they did it 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. The two holidays that were mentioned in the movie were optional, and that meant that if they didn't work those days, the workers didn't get paid, not like today where we have to work the holidays and we get paid for that too. So, anyways, at the same time they were placing concrete on the dam, they were building a few other structures. And one of those was this horseshoe shaped building right here called the power plant. Very important because it was through the sale of electricity that the Bureau of Reclamation was able to pay off its almost $50 million loan to the government without using any money from the government. And it's also how they were able to maintain and operate our facility today without using any money from the government. So where does that electricity go? 56% to Southern California, and that does include Disneyland. 19% to Arizona, and 25% stays here in Nevada. Of that 25%, Las Vegas uses only about 3 or 4% of it. The rest of it, some goes to Boulder City, and some goes to some mining towns, and some of it may or may not have gone to a military base that may or may not have existed. Now the other structures that they were building, the four intake towers, two on the Nevada side, two on the Arizona side, they stand 395 feet in height, but they do appear taller than our 700 26 foot tall dam because they're built on stone shelves cut out from the canyon walls. And the last structures were the Nevada and the Arizona spillway. They're very important because they act in the same manner as that overflow drain on your bathtub that's supposed to prevent your children from overfilling the tub and flooding the bathroom. Yeah, these work though. They're 26 feet lower than the top of the dam itself. Last bucket of concrete was placed May 29, 1935. One week, one day shy of two years from the first bucket, 26 months ahead of schedule. We're now ready to fill Lake Mead behind the dam. First step they did was they put bulkhead steel gates at the entrances to our four diversion tunnels and they blasted away the lower coffer dam so that water coming through the power plant could go downstream unimpeded. They left this one because it wasn't interfering with anything, but it's a little bit difficult to see and hard to get to because it's under 400 feet of water. And the last step were these 400 foot long concrete plugs in those sections. Now that meant this yellow part was not going to be used again, but it did leave our lower lab sections to be incorporated into the workings of the power plant and the dam. The outer tunnels hooked up to the spillways. And if you look at this diagram right here, you can see they're connecting right past this concrete plug. Water would go into the spillway, travel down, and exit into the river. We've used them twice, once in 1941 to test them out, found out they worked, good thing. Because as you can see in this picture from 1983, we had to use them for real. The water was so high in the lake that from the top of the water to the top of the dam was only six and a half feet. Yeah, you can probably lean over, dangle by your feet, and touch the water, so yeah. Um, lastly, the inner diversion tunnel, where we are. This is where our workers place the penstock. That's the pipe that takes the water to the turbines at the lower 
section of our generators. And as you look out the window there, you'll see our pen stock. It's 30 feet in diameter. It, um, it's made with two and three quarter inch boilerplate steel and that vibration that you feel under your feet is the water course you do that pen stock at about 88,000 gallons of water per second. This is enough to fill eight Olympic sized swimming pools in under a minute. So how does Hoover Dam work? Intake towers right here bring the water from the reservoir into the 30 foot in diameter pen stock using gravitational feed. It's the weight of the water pushing it through. Travels past us to a 13 foot in diameter pen stock that takes it to the turbines at the lower section of our generators. Now attached to that turbine is a steel shaft. Goes up 60 feet to the upper section where the rotor is. Water spins our turbine. Turbine spins that shaft and the shaft spins the rotor. Electricity is produced. Water then exits here into the tail race and continues downstream to its next destination. And folks right now if you'll open a pathway for me so that I can get to the tunnel entrance, I'll take us to the elevators and we'll go up to the balcony overlooking those generators. Thank you.